Celine from I'm Handmade. I'm going to be making another soap. Um, this one is going to be called Hawaiian Sunshine and it smells absolutely amazing. Unbelievable. Okay, so I'm starting off with the oils and my milks are already in here. Big zhuzhup. Glasses on because my my water. Which is in the jug. Just give it a bit of a stir. Long. Hello, it's Titchy. Hello, I thought she was talking to herself, so I had to come and check if she was still like sane. <laughs> um, well, I'm not. Oh. People don't remember what you sound like anymore, Titchy. I, I, I felt like I should do it for the fans. For the fans, <laughs> oh, you're so brave. <laughs> okay, we're going to be doing uh, three colours. Making? I'm making oh, yeah. Hawaiian sunshine. I, I wish I was making actual Can sunshine. I open the door? Yeah, it's actually it's very, stuffy uh, in here. Yeah. It's a bit... <coughs> so what you been up to, Titch? I'm editing pictures from an event last night. <laughs> Glenn Hansard! Ah! Um, if for people who don't know who Glenn Hansard is, probably also That's, the Ireland. Sorry, just say that slowly. Glenn Hansard. <laughs> yeah, you speak yeah. so quickly. I'm excited. Um, Glenn Hansard is a member of The Frames, they're an Irish band, but lately he's become friends of Bruce Springsteen Ooh, and, Eddie, and Eddie Vedder of Pearl Jam. Um, and Isn't he an Oscar winner too though? He is an Oscar, yes. Um, he wrote a song with Marquetta Glover, something like that, um, his called girl, Falling His girlfriend slowly. of the time I believe. Of the time, yeah. Uh, for a film called Once, which was fantastic. I saw that really randomly in Golda. I was meant to see The Da Vinci Code or else Angels and Demons. Oh, and for some reason, the screen it was on wasn't open for the public and I had to choose something else. So I chose that thinking, oh, I was going to see something. <laughs> I didn't think it would be any good, but it was really it's good. It's supposed to be fabulous. It's really good. Ooh. The video's on. And there's Malky too. Oh my God, the whole gang's here. Now he's gone again. <laughs> Um, but anyway, Glenn Hansard, he performed with Bruce in Kilkenny at the end of Bruce's Wrecking Ball tour in 2012. Kilkenny is a, a county in Ireland. It's not like in, what's that program where they go, oh my god, they're Kilkenny. What's that program? Oh. <laughs> South Park. South Park. <laughs> Kilkenny, oh all one god, word, is a county so in Ireland, but not. Oh my god, they kill Kilkenny. That is so funny. That is hilarious. I am um, I am quite funny though actually. You are. But um anyway, funny he sang singer. with Bruce in Kilkenny and uh he subsequently recorded one of Bruce's songs, Drive All Night, as his own as well, so it was very cool to see that. So last night I got a pass to cover a gig called Barry Town Meets Music Town, which is celebrating uh, an Irish writer, Roddy Doyle, uh, a trilogy of his books called The Snapper, The Commitments and The Van. And uh, there was music and lots of talk and ex excerpts, excerpts? Excerpts. Okay, give me two seconds. It always has to be about you. Yep. <laughs> Go on. Hey, say that again. Excerpts. 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 Ex e x c e or p t s. Excerpts. Oh, what a stupid word. Excerpts. Yeah, because the whole English language is stupid because you that can't word speak is. it. I can't speak it. Um, but anyway, they were reading excerpts from. Sorry. Don't warn me. Um, so yeah, there was that going on. 
and I got a music or a photo pass to take pictures of it, so I'm editing those pictures. Because she's in the media now. Do you remember when she started out and she was like taking photos at random small little things? But now she's got like a photo pass and she's a member of the National Union of Journalists. And like she's she's you're proper, aren't you? I love how you keep looking up at the camera as if it's pointing at you, but it's not. It's my audience. They're they're my peeps. Yeah. Okay. Shush. Sure, sure. There's my peeps, the baby. Okay. And so it was really good. You did get home all of a tither. I came home about half twelve. Yeah. Because um, I, I was a bit asleep, nervous. She even woke me up because she was so excited. Um, because I didn't realise it. A lot. No, initially I got the impression I'd be allowed to cover the whole thing. Go on, do that first. Okay. Um, but I got a photo pass, which normally covers the first three songs of an event. So I was kind of on the watchful eye out for security guards coming to. Lug me out of the place, but I managed to stay for the whole Lug thing. Lug you out of so. the place? Yep. What does that even mean? It sounds like it, what it means. Chuck you out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was cool. Very excited to just move that over there. So and you enjoyed yourself? I did, I did. And I photographed famous peeps lately too. Who did you photograph? Alan Rickman and Julie Andrews and Kim Cattrall. And what was Julie Andrews like, Titchy? <laughs> Um, I didn't get to talk to her around them, but she's not very nice to her fans who had queued out and she just walked in past them and then when they started singing for her to come back out, the security closed the door. <laughs> I thought that was kind of rude. Yes, they were queued at least two hours and then it started raining on them and everything. Um, and in the press area where I was... Um, By the way, she's talking too much now about the fragrance, but anyway, go on. <laughs> It'd be a pretty soap, but it wouldn't smell of anything. Um, the photographers weren't, weren't allowed to take any pictures when she was being interviewed. Normally you can get some very nice casual shots of people when they're being interviewed, but it was a big no-no. And uh, even when she went to pose against the background of the film festival banner, um, a guy stood in front of her until she was ready to pose for us. Oh my god, you swear she's like some bloody supermodel or something. I just think that's kind of rude. When you look at her, she's kind of shiny. and. Uh, she said something done to her, I mean, near her ears. Somewhat, somewhat plastic you with possibly uh, 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 some scarring behind her ears. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. Off the record. like. Off the record. Yeah. Uh, uh, but um, speaking of surgery. Onto new, as they say, speak, darling. Speaking of that, Kim Cattrall looked amazing. And she's like in her 50s. She looks incredibly good. And Does she look younger look or older than me? Uh, older. Good older, girl. But in a more, I don't know. Shiny plastic way? No, just she has that more mature look about her, but still very she, I'm like a look. kid look, looking. Yeah, yeah. You! Even childish look. <laughs> yeah, I'm a stupid kid. <laughs> so long may it last. Go on, then who else? Yeah, Alan Lichtman, who was the most amazing voice ever. So, ever. tasty? No, no, he's not tasty. Yeah, I imagine. Oh, that smell is good. You smell the soap? Yeah, so. Oh, that's so nice. That smells like pure holidays. Like, I knew his hands gruber and die hard, but even that didn't pass Yeah, but you wouldn't be. And, and you wouldn't know him. Think of him as a. Uh, whatever. I can't. Harry Potter thing. By the way, this colour is orange here. It's not actually orange, it's yellow. It just goes orange immediately, but by tomorrow it'll be yellow again. The colour is really funny on the camera. It's because we're sitting at this angle. I am actually sitting down again. My leg oh yeah, I see. I swear I'm looking at it. Yeah. red. My leg was hurting me again oh, today. Oh, so. She's had awful trouble with her knee. It's banjaxed. It's banjaxed. She has to get a knee replacement and everything. I do not. <laughs> Don't joke, jeez. I, I just okay. think it's a bit like a scandal. Just, just to say, so this is like a sea greeny colour. Uh, this is so this is Hawaiian sunshine so this is going to be uh, it looks orange but it's going to be yellow so that's like the sunshine this is like the sea and the gold is like the sand get it and how about red for like lobsters and green for panties and red brown for, for trunks. your sun sunburn <laughs> 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 I funny not really 
Right, and so we're going to have white, which is kind of a slightly off white, but that's okay. I really like how people are commenting on, on the group and saying how much they missed you. And me, they yeah, missed me too. Nice. Nice. I was like, oh. So I'm going to pour some white in. So you're having a great time then, Titchy, is basically what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, it's going grand. I, I, I haven't been on to them since my exhibition in order. You haven't made a video with me and I can't remember how long. People are going to say, Titchy who? Who's but that they girl? Won't. Yeah, they won't. I'm memorable. <laughs> yeah. For no. what reason, so? Oh, sorry, you brought up your exhibition there and I was supposed to talk about that, wasn't I? Wasn't that a hint for me to talk about it? No, it wasn't! Oh my god, you made me sound like a complete attention seeker. And that whenever I mention something, you automatically have to talk about it. Uh, oh, I can smell coconut in this now. Yeah, definitely coconut. Oh, yummy. It's lovely. A bit more white in there. Okay, I didn't mix much white, so it's kind of like a creamy colour, but that's okay. So what do we start with? We'll have to start the sand, I think, yeah? yeah. Start the sand. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna go... <gasps> oh! Oh! What? Oh! We have to shout out to someone! Who? What? Oh god, you're so deaf! You start it. Okay, okay. We have to sing happy birthday to somebody. Who do we have to sing herpy her, her, her birthday to? Herpy birthday. Um, um, Sorry, Mil oh, it's just before you say it. Jesus. Uh, sea Green. Um, Melissa Sweet. Sanford. Hi. It's her birthday. We well, sing, okay, it's happy birthday. We don't have to sing. Oh, we sing happy birthday because it's her birthday. Not oh. because, like, she won the lottery or anything. But if she did, that's great. Um, and we're your best friends and we want some money. Yeah. <laughs> And we've always wanted a trip to America. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, very quick happy birthday. No, we do it. Not, uh, uh, well, people would be bored rigid. Yeah, but we can do a birthday, but not really fast. Okay, go on. You start. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Oh, oh, I really hate me singing that. Happy birthday, dear. Come on, sing it. Dear Melissa. Melissa. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. You sing really badly. I hate when you put the fake singing. singing. Cause you put the fake singing. Because I can't thing. sing. Well, you should try singing. Well, you should try singing. <laughs> but anyway, yes, Melissa, happy birthday. Yes, I hope you have a great time and and, and a good day. Um, I'm putting this this orange that is actually yellow, even though it doesn't look yellow, in now. It's gone quite thick. The higher I do, the, the more it'll get in. Okay, blotches around the side. Nee, 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 nee. Will I do a bit of a, a hanger swirl type thingy, Titchy? Will I do that? If you want to. Oh, do you know what I was going to do? I was going to do the in the pot swirl, yeah, wasn't you I? Were. I totally forgot about that. You're completely like a dozy mare. No, like schizophrenic or something. That's very not very nice. No, because you go in and out of accents, like is it there's someone else in your head? Oh. There's several people in my head probably. She's joke about them. So have you any news to me? I don't really, things are pretty much the same, but they feel a bit better. Um, so you're a bit boring. So. I went very, very boring. <laughs> I'm joking. But I think nobody's in the impression I was any different than that. Oh no, come on. You're not boring. Oh no, come on. I mentioned the e-word earlier and you said nothing about it. What e-word? Exhibition! Yeah. I did say it and then you said, oh no, i am looking for praise. Yeah, so but go. you could have went on talking about it. Oh, okay. So, so Titchy, what did you do recently that was kind of interesting and fun? I had an exhibition. Oh, Sorry. that makes a weird noise in here. Uh, just watch the camera because I'm... Hello, Malky. Malky's afraid to show his face. If I had a face like that, so would I. 
tea, yes, are we, please. Are we tea? Oh, you're making tea. I'll have tea, please. I'll please. have a cup of tea. Thanks, love. Does anybody in YouTube land like want a cup of tea? Yeah, do you want to say me a cup of tea? You, you, no, you. No. you. <laughs> 400, please. <laughs> Anyway, I had an exhibition of 40 pictures and it runs till the 30th of April. And why did you have an exhibition? Because I'm amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is true. I kid, I kid. Um, no, you are, you are amazing. I'm not amazing. You are amazing. I'm not. Shut Tissue up. You are. No, I won't shut up. And don't tell me to shut up. How yeah. rude. Um, so, yeah, there was a, lots of writers that I photographed over the last two to three years at... Um, a book festival in Dunleary called Mountains to See, which I was working at again this year and covered 32 events, which was fantastic. But Why is it called Mountains to See? I couldn't tell you. Because in Dublin we have mountains, although actually probably in most countries you'd probably call them hills, to be fair. <laughs> really, they probably would. I mean, compared to Switzerland or yeah. like the Rockies or somewhere like yeah. that, you know, it is pretty much hills. Um, and then we're, it's also by the sea, so hence mountains to sea. Never do that. Titchy, will you fetch me over my hangar? Please. Please. Yeah. No, not that one. The thinner one. Oh my god. I knew you'd get the wrong one. Why didn't you tell me otherwise? Because that would be too much fun. Okay. So, I keep getting your boyfriend mixed up with um with Paul Weller. Which boyfriend? Paul, Paul Young. Yeah. <gasps> well, they look vastly different. Yeah. Paul Weller's playing the other. No, Titchy, that's just a hanger. Well, where is that? The it's a blue one. one. Oh, how was I to know that? Because that's not done. Done the red face. Jeebus. There's four hangers there, you didn't oh, specify. Oh, for God's <laughs> save us. Okay, lads, we're going to do, uh, I don't know, something, something different. Anyway, he's playing the Olympia. Tiny venue. Paul Young or Paul Weller? Weller. Oh, Mark, he's coming with tea. Get ready, everybody. Put your hands out one at a time. We'll get them delivered to you. 400 teas for the YouTube audience, please. Who wants sugar? Me. Not me. Oh, in YouTube. Actually, oh, here. Oh, in YouTube. Do you want bickies too? Anybody want bickies? You, 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 you. 400 biscuits, please. If I turn it sideways, then it'll fall on the soap. Don't do that. Goodbye. You sound like Alan Rickman. I was talking about him. What? I was talking about him. How photographed him. Drink up, everybody. Drink up. Enjoy your tea. <laughs> right. No tea around the soap, Titchy. Actually, would you mind moving that one just in case? I don't blob the soap in my tea. Thank you very much. Okay, so. Oh my god, the acoustics in here really hurt your ears when Open you bang. Open the door. I don't want to. Just banging. <laughs> so basically, it's I did just, just a. A very random sort of hanger swirl. I have no clue what that's going to look like at the end. So. It's really nice to see you soapen again. Hi. I've actually missed doing videos with you. Well, you see, every time I say, do you want to do a video, you go... <laughs> yeah, but normally you do it on a Saturday afternoon when I go out, or when I'm out, or when I'm tired. And I've still not finished editing the pictures, but I had to come in to you, because you're my priority. Oh! And the YouTube good. fans are my priority. Well, they'll have forgotten what you look like. Well, they can hardly see me now, can they? Why? Because you just stand beside me. She's actually wearing di diamonds and stilettos. And yeah. Nothing else. No. No. That's silly. Yeah, see, look at him. No clothes on. <laughs> on her arm. Apart from the t-shirt and the jeans. And it's such fun. Such fun. She's wearing a Miranda t-shirt. I don't know if you know Miranda. Miranda Hart. She's a comedian. She's a comedian. We went to see her before. She was really good. She's funny as hell. Over there, petal. I'm not moving on. Oh, I put it in the sink? Yeah. Oh, actually, that's all cold water, so let that out. I actually think they're probably easier to wash when they're... Um, the next day? Yeah. When you're at work and when someone else can wash it for you. Yeah, that's always a good plan. <laughs> Yeah, you worked that one out, didn't you? Oh, I did, bye. So this is sort of 
of just randomness, really. Randomosity. It's actually quite comfortable sitting on the stool to do this. This I have a chair, but it's like a stool. It's really high. It's like a high chair, like babies. <laughs> <laughs> it is comfy. I like it. I tend to hoot forward. Yeah, Malky actually made it. Made the chair. Which yeah. is cool. Yeah. So what else do you have to tell us? No, because I'll wind the ghost and if I say it. No, it's okay. No. We're, we're used to you now. Uh, I don't really have any other news. I want a voucher um, for 150 euro for a holiday somewhere. So I'm possibly going to kill Kenny <laughs> where Boost was. See? All As the opposed boost. to kill Kenny, which would be terrible. Yeah. I don't know, how do you even think of that? Because it would be kind of obvious if that's all your your um, all expression. The looks yeah. At. Well, not all it looks at, but I mean, they might know who Kenny is a county in Ireland. Yeah, sorry. I, I assume too much that you know. You know, you have an Ireland. international audience here. You've got to cater for more people <laughs> than just you. So, yeah, I'm going to treat myself to a hotel stay. Um, well, it's actually going to be a photography project, really, isn't it? It is, yes. So, you've got soap at the bottom of the jug on the outside. Um, yes, it'll be a photography project. I've written down places to go and see. Um, so I'm looking forward. It's actually work. So you could write it, you could write it off against taxes too. Imagine. Well, you could. Oh, yeah, you could actually. You could totally All could. About nine euro. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, no, but your food and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. It is. It's absolutely. It's a work. Thing. Yeah. I mean, how yeah. do you think photographers and stuff travel around the world and things? Yeah. They claim it off their taxes. I mean, I'm sure they're probably paid extra and stuff. Mm. Well, the big guys we paid to go places, like the guy in Dublin I talk about, he was paid by a certain performer, like for his flights and stay in Las Vegas. It's like, wow. Okay. Um, the guy whose nephew did a washing machine, he's a photographer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was paid by a certain river dance guy. <laughs> Poor him. I can't stand that creep. And he's I mean, got I... an African room in his house, which is a rhino horn, so I don't know what Does he really? He has a real rhino horn in his house? But he's, I'm not sure. Do you remember the time that his house was broken into and they mentioned the Africa room? My god, well, I hope it's not a real rhino horn. Like, I hope rhino. Not either, oh my god, I don't know. I would assume it is, because why would it have a room of it otherwise? Well, that's awful. I know. Like a rhino died for that, so you could have it in the sitting room. Yeah. That's terrible. Again, nobody bloody sued me for saying that. Well, we haven't named the name. Well, I did say it, the or word. No, we didn't name anybody specifically. However, anybody, I don't care who you are, rich, famous, poor, whatever, if you have a bloody rhino horn, in your house because you think that's cool. It's not cool. It's sick. You should be shot. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, actually, yes. Yeah. Not that we condone violence of any kind. Well, they're the ones who are quite happy for the animal to be shot in the first place. So we should talk should... about crap like this when yeah. we're doing nice Don't videos. say the word crap, that's rude. Sorry, sorry. I apologise for the use of the C word. I forget that there's young people watching. Probably is. <laughs> Yeah. That's so They've bad. They've probably learned all their bad manners from you. I know. Terrible. So I'm just going to do a, a top. My sort of top. I have no reason. So no. Does it feel weird? It doesn't actually. It feels very natural. Good. I need to go and do more pictures for because I'm up all night if I don't do it. Okay, sweet. Um, so yeah, it was lovely to see you, everybody, and we shall see you soon. Oh, do me a flavour oh, before you go. What? Will you take a photo of the dim in the mould? Oh, Tellini. What? Later on. With your phone, then? My phone seems to be dead. Is that phone charger working? Yeah. Is my phone charged there? If my phone's charged, then I'll do it myself. No, I'll take it on your phone. I don't trust your stupid right. Thanks very much. Your focus on this thing is horrendous. Why is it beeping? Yeah, I don't think it's charging. But... It's just turning off all the time. No, hold on, it's doing something now.
a good size turn on. Ah. Oh my god, come on. Is this on top? Yes. Just a tad? Yeah. Where is it? Wherever you left it. <laughs> good question. Mind yourself you're getting something to soak. Oh. Yeah, see I don't think it's charging on that charger. Even though it fits it. It is ten percent. Oh well then, I'm good. Oh no, it's it's very dodgy in it. Oh shush! Yeah, it just wants to turn okay, it off. I'm, I'm leaving it. I don't like it. It's being bold. Okay, we'll put a tiniest bit. Okay, I'll do it from my phone. My phone's in the room. Hold on a second. Sure. Not so much. It goes in for the wash too. And so we're done. So remember that orange is going to be yellow tomorrow. So sand, sea, sunshine, just think of that in Hawaii. And that's what you've got. It smells gorgeous. Really nice. It's like a real tropical holiday sort of combo. Doesn't want to do it. And... Is that mine making that noise? Or yours? Yours is making that noise. <gasps> Keep talking. Uh, okay. So I uh, hope you like it, and that's sort of the first of my restocks. I've put it on my Facebook group. Um, if you want to um, join in with the group, it's mm. facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash I am handmade. Uh, I just have to approve you, but that's fine. Um, uh, the only people I'm not sort of approving are people who really look like spammers or somebody who belongs to 4,000 groups and when I look at them they're all selling something because um, it's not a selling group generally. Um, it will be for me but it's not for other people. Uh, so anyway, apply and, and I'll approve you. Um, I don't know if you can add a note. Actually can you add a note when you apply to a group? I don't think you can. Okay. Should be able to because that would be really good on Facebook if you said, "Hi, I know you from YouTube or I watch all your videos or whatever." Then you kind of refer people and you know where they come from. Anyway, um, is that taking any photos? Don't you? Are you yeah, happy with it? I think it's quite cool looking. It's quite dark. You no, it's not. Okay, send it to me. Will you email it to me? Yeah. And and I'll put it up. Will you take one sort of close up? I'm sorry, I'm being such pain. Really. I probably I'm, sound really grumpy on You the, do sound grumpy. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. It's because I'm tired. Well, it's because you're working hard. Yeah. Imagine when we started doing these, you weren't a photographer, you were just... In college. You were in, in college. college. You were still in college. And you didn't even, we didn't know how to use a, uh, the, do you remember we didn't know how to use the camera, the video on the camera or anything like that? We were like bumbling around like two dopes, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> now look how far you've come. Look how famous See? I am. But that's why she doesn't have, people always ask her where is Tichy? She just doesn't have time a lot of the time. And because I haven't been soaping either. Um, so this is going to be, turn out to be a very boring video if you don't hurry up. Sure, knock off. I don't have to be on video taking the bloody picture. Okay, that's true. Don't look, say the weird Sorry. word. Sorry. Rude. Sorry. Okay, say bye to everybody. Bye, everybody. Um, we'll see you soon, Titchy. We'll see you soon, Titchy. No. Will we see you soon, oh, Titchy? Yes, you, we will see you soon, Okay. Titchy. Bye, yeah. Uh, sorry, this has been very long and sort of rambling video, but you're probably used to that by now. Okay, bye, yeah. <laughs> you're not in it. No, I'm not in it. Bye. <laughs> Hi everybody, coming back to you with a cutting video for our Hawaiian sunshine soap. Um, I'm just going to sit down because my leg is hurting me, sorry. My knee is aching. So, okay, so this is what the soap looks like out of the mould. Uh, let's see it clearly. You can see the what was orange has turned yellow as I said. Uh, I'm put it inside. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see better. And across 
else. Okay. So let's just line it up. Try not to get my fat head in the way. And off we go. So this was a gorgeous scent. It was um kind of a tropical coconutty pineapple y tropical numminess. <laughs> I don't know what you'd call it really. It's actually quite hard. I'm not pushing so hard that the strings are gonna break or anything. And you'll hear the music now. Nearly, nearly. There you go. Put that all the way down. Seems to be. Okay, so swirl, that is pretty. Now my white isn't as white as it normally is because I didn't actually put enough in. I was going to do less white. Um uh, less of a quantity of white. That's pretty though. Oh, it smells norm. Isn't that a pretty swirl? It's like a little lotus blossom flower there, isn't it? Now, you'll have watched the video of the making of this beforehand, but obviously I'm maybe three or four days later here cutting. Isn't that pretty? So, you'll know that Titchy was talking to, talking to us the whole time. So I kind of just did like a random sort of swirl thing. Um, it was like a drop swirl. I think it was a drop swirl. And then I did a hanger in it. But that really is nice. See the, see where the yellow was? Or where the yellow is? It was, um, it was very... I'll do it that way. Maybe you see better. No. Uh, it was very orange. When it pours first or when it goes into the soap first, it's very orange. But it does revert to a lovely yellow. So I was trying to get the, the sun, sea and sand here. So the gold for the sand, the sea and the sun for the yellow. That is pretty. Uh, it's really smooth when this is all trimmed up and everything. It's gonna look pretty. So there'll be 22 of these bars and four snippets, which are pretty generous sized snippets. I mean, compared to the size of a bar, not bad size at all. Really good. Lots of people buy them for their. Um, like in their bathrooms on the wash hand basin or in their kitchens or if they have like guest bathrooms or something some of these specialists coming to stay they they put them in there you know um, and they sell out actually really well and they're also really good one of the big things say like for gifts and stuff People buy several of them at a time, so you get like a really good choice of them. I'll push that back in. Basically just lining it up to make sure that the snippets are sort of a, an equal size both sides. And we'll cut. And there's no reason really why I lay it on its side like this. Um, I only, you only really have to do it when you've got botanicals in it and they may drag, but to be honest they're going to drag anyway. I just, I don't know, it's just habit I guess. So push, push, push on through, slowly but surely. And you'll hear the music soon. There you go. So, more of the same. Really pretty. Kind of wish I'd done more white in it, but... Meh, as they say. These are pretty, aren't they lovely? 
Look at this little, I'm not getting the right angle. This little swirl. It's actually almost green in that there. See here? Like that there. Look, it's like the blue and the the blue and the yellow have merged into made it another shade all by themselves. <coughs> It's lovely there. Okay, so I'm not sure when these will be on pre-order. Um, just don't know the date offhand. But they have a six week cure, so you can say six weeks from <coughs> today's date, which is like the 17th of April or 18th of April. So it's 2015 in case you're watching it next year in which case they'll be sold um so that's it that is hawaiian sunshine look at that they're cool well, it's in just in a snippet so you even get the swirl in the snippet which is cool okay so that is hawaiian sunshine let me pick one for you to look at um really pretty oh, okay Sun, sea, and sand. Well, that's what it's all about. And that's what I'm looking forward to this summer. Okay, hope you enjoy. Um, and I'll put all the dates for curing and availability and stuff in the uh, blurb below. Okay, hope you enjoy. Bye. -ya.